Welcome to a demonstration about protecting the SnapCenter repository. When you install SnapCenter, MySQL Server is installed on the SnapCenter host as the SnapCenter repository database. We sometimes refer to the repository as the NSM in our documentation. The SnapCenter repository stores essential information and metadata about a SnapCenter configuration including backup, clone, restore, and verification metadata, reporting, job and event data, host and plugin information, role, user, and permission details, and storage system connection information. It's a best practice to protect the repository with regular backups. This video demonstrates how to configure protection for the SNAP Center repository. Before we can protect the SnapCenter repository, we need to ensure we have storage allocated for the repository backups. There are a few steps we should complete to ensure that backup storage is set up correctly. We will need to use the SnapCenter GUI to add the SnapCenter server host and to install the plugin package for Windows. Use Windows Server Manager on the SnapCenter host to verify that the iSCSI service is running. Use NetApp On Command System Manager to create a volume on our NetApp storage, and use the SnapCenter GUI to create a disk on the new volume. Let's begin by logging in to SnapCenter. We will need to log in as a user that has permission to add hosts to SnapCenter. We need to add the SnapCenter server host to SnapCenter. So we click the Host tab. and then click Add. On the Add Host page, select the host OS type. We will keep Windows as the OS type, which is the default. Enter the SnapCenter host name. Select a Run As account that has permissions to add plugins on the SnapCenter server. In this case, we're using SC Admin. Use the default selections on the rest of this page. On the next page, the SnapCenter server host is displayed. Select the SnapCenter plugins package for Windows and click Next. SnapCenter performs some pre-installation checks. Review the summary page and click Finish to add the host and install the plugins package. The SnapCenter server host is listed in the Managed Host page and the plugin package is being installed. SnapCenter does not back up SIF shares, so the iSCSI service must be running to enable SnapCenter to connect to our allocated storage. We use Windows Server Manager on the SnapCenter server host to ensure the iSCSI service is running. Open Server Manager and locate the service. In this case, the iSCSI service is not running so we'll start the service. Once the iSCSI service is running, we'll return to SnapCenter and create an iSCSI session between the SVM and the SnapCenter server host. In the SnapCenter GUI, go to the Host tab and select iSCSI session. Select an SVM, under Hosts, select the SnapCenter server host. Click Establish Session. Enter the IP address for the target portal. And click Connect. SnapCenter and the selected SVM can now communicate. Our iSCSI session is established, but we haven't designated a storage location yet for backing up the repository. The backup must be located on NetApp Storage, so we're going to use On Command System Manager to create a volume dedicated to repository backups. We'll log into System Manager with a user that has permission to create a volume. Click on Storage, Volumes Create. Choose Create FlexVol, select an SVM, we'll select SVM1,
and enter a meaningful name for the volume. Select the aggregate and enter a size for the volume. We'll keep the defaults for the remaining settings and click Create. We've created a volume for the repository backups and now we're going to use the Snap Center GUI to create a disk on that volume. Click on the Host tab, click on Disks, and click New. Choose the storage system where we created the volume for storing the backups. Click Browse to locate the LUN path and select it from the list. Enter a meaningful name for the LUN and click Next. For the disk type, choose Dedicated Disk and click Next. In the Drive Properties page, choose Assign Drive Letter and choose an available drive. Enter a LUN size and then choose GPT as a partition type. Click Next and then select iSCSI as the type of initiator for mapping the LUN. On the next page, we're going to choose Create New iGroup. Click Next to go to the Summary page. Review the summary to ensure everything is correct, and click Finish. Repository backup configuration is performed using the Snap Center PowerShell commandlets. Now that we've set up the storage for the repository backups, we want to open a PowerShell session on the Snap Center server. To do this, we use the Open SM Connection commandlet. Once we're connected, we use the Protect SM Repository commandlet to configure protection for the Snap Center repository. This commandlet creates the schedule and specifies the location for the repository backups. Replace the IP address with that of your Snap Center server when you enter this command. Schedules can be hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. The schedule you choose depends on how frequently your Snap Center information or metadata changes. We can look at the new schedule for the repository backups by going to the Monitor tab in Snap Center and clicking on Schedules. To see more information, click on Details. This video provided the steps to configure Snap Center repository backups including space allocation for the backups, creating an iSCSI session, and configuring the backups with PowerShell commandlets. To learn more, look at other videos on the NetApp TechCom TV channel on YouTube. Also, you can find detailed how-to instructions in the SnapCenter Documentation Center listed at docs.netapp.com.